What's poppin' everybody, it's your boy Snowy Kurama, and here we are for week three of the season six of the WPF, or the World Pokemon Federation, just in case you like all them big ass words jumbling around in your mouth. This is a kind of a late video, not really too late as week four just started as of yesterday or two days ago, something like that. So it's not that bad, but I could have still recorded this a while ago, just haven't really felt like it, plus kind of tired from the the daily life of me so here it is better late than never just like the other video if you haven't watched that and you don't know what the wpf is or why i'm doing week three instead of week one or week two you can go check that out that will detail week one and two actually all together so don't need to really go over that too much and my opponent is the quebec quillfish coached by coach leaf and his team's kind of scary. He's got Dragapult, Rotom Wash, Donphan, Surfetched, Cryogonal, Togetic, Altaria in the Mega Form, Heatran, Zarude, Tornadus Incarnate Form, and Muck. Just like we have Muck up on the screen. So, pretty scary. Not a fan of seeing Dragapult and Rotom on that team. Surfetched can be quite scary to go up against too. This thing's so strong, has first impression and whatnot. Two fairies, which is interesting. Heatran is very unique and has a unique typing and is a big problem. And then we've got Prankster Tornadus Eye wanting to do whatever the hell it is it can do. And I've never even seen Zarude do anything before. So I don't know what's going to go on. And that's kind of scary. Now that we've done Leaf's team, let's go ahead and look at our team. This match was played like a week ago, so I don't remember exactly what it is that my mons did, but I have kind of an idea. This Assault Vested Muck is designed for a Scarf Dragapult, or like some type of special attacking Dragapult. We can take three Shadow Balls or so with this thing, so that's pretty cool. And we just dumped the rest of them attack. We have Brick Break here for the Heatran, just in case. I didn't really see any other move we could use to hit it, and Dig is not good enough. And knockoff's always nice to have dual stab. Then we have Shadow Sneak just in case we want to get in that little last word. We got Bubblegum or Sylveon, just your normal wish protect thing. I have speed in here to outspeed something. I believe it is. I want to say Don Fan. Like a max speed something or other on the team. Maybe it's Rotom. No, it's too slow for Rotom. It's outspeeding something, and we dumped the rest in HP, or defense. So yeah, Wish Protect, Hyper Voice, Side Shock, this does the uh, the coverage job pretty well against his whole team. We don't really want a Mystical Fire into that Heatran. It's not exactly a fun thing to do. Land of Lakes, our Landorus is back. We got a Heavy Duty Boots South, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, U-Turn, and Knock Off. This is a pretty cool move set that's just all around. Covers a good utility set we have enough speed in here to go ahead and outspeed the mega altaria with the rest in hp to make ourselves a little bit more bulky boots will help us not take hazard damage of course and we can lower their attack with intimidate which is really nice micro the delmise is here we have power whip poltergeist rapid spin and synthesis just here to do some damage to get rid of some rocks and heal ourselves up and all of that we have speed in here for something that is 137 of course and then just the rest dumped into attack because we needed all the hp we can get i believe against don fans ice shard or something and then we have nightmare fuel here i was given the advice from electric to go ahead and just put your regular mon in and then holding the pins right just to avoid any sort of showdown glitches that might want to pop up quick attack earthquake double edge and swords dancer here this Mold Breaker here that we have is designed to hit the Rotom with an Earthquake because it doesn't care about Levitate. And then the rest of these moves are just Bird Spam-ish moves. We also have Swords Dance. It's going to be nice. Last but not least, we have Pent-Up Aggression, our Storm. We've got a Life Orb set with Recover this time rather than Rapid Spin and the Boots. Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Psychic do pretty well against the rest of his team. We only needed enough speed to cover the tornadoes so we dumped the rest in HP. So now that you know our team, let's go ahead and get into the battle. I didn't save this last video because I was really trying to get it up and going and 
sped up as much as possible, but shout out to my buddy Marcos for hooking me up with this nice and cool sword and shield background. I found that it looks a lot better in dark mode as you see with light mode, it's kind of blinding. So that's why we're switching over to dark mode. Let's go ahead and play this video out or vi uh, freaking battle. Ugh, words. I start off with my Starmie, he goes torn. I'm faster, so I just go ahead and sh fire off an ice beam. Does not kill, of course, because we're a Starmie or he's got some investment. He U turns out, does a lot to us. I go ahead and switch out to my Delmise. I honestly should have probably went into pincer considering my mold breaker would have activated and then I could have predicted the switch from there. I also don't know really how much volt switch would have done to pincer so volt switch on the delmise isn't actually as bad. I was not about to risk a hydro pump from this thing so landorus was not the play in my opinion. Heatran comes out because of course it does then we switch out to Landorus, which then receives a Will-O-Wisp, which isn't very fun. But I believe since we're max attack, we can really just do whatever. We sent out rocks because I was fairly sure that this thing would not want to... This Heatran would not want to hit me with anything or even try because Earthquake will still do quite a bit of damage. And I'll actually reference this turn on a later turn now that I'm thinking about it. But he goes out into the Torn on my rocks. He could, and then yeah, he does that. I was thinking maybe he could defog or something. I didn't think that he had anything that could kill me. And I didn't remember that this thing got Icy Wind even though I'm fairly sure that I used it in GTS now that I think about it when I had Torn T. So that kind of sucks. My, land, my whole Landorus is gone which means this Heatran can do whatever it wants and our Alataria preparation is just gone but that that's what happens when you don't know anything about these mons but we quick attack because we don't want to get rid of our mold breaker as of yet altaria comes out i'm not trying to take a flying move or whatever so i go out to my fairy type they body slam with a pixelate body slam and we take a fair amount of damage i'd say they go out to heatran i wished here because i had no idea what the hell they wanted to do and then I just protected just to see what it would do instead. What moves have been revealed as of right now? Will-O-Wisp and Stealth Rock. Okay. And then he Will-O-Wisps here as I wish. And then I had the plan to go out to Starmie right here so that I can gain back all my HP and start just firing off moves like I would like to. I figured that he wouldn't use another... Not really another. I figured he wouldn't use any offensive moves because he's just been using rocks and will-o'-wisp so far. So I thought, I think, you know, this Starmie plays fine. But he flash cannons here and ends up killing my Starmie. So that wish is just gone. And that that was that made me a little sad. We got the pincer, we mega evolve, we earthquake. Here's where I'm referencing that turn back when I had my Landorus out. He... Wait, was it Landorus? Let's find, let's go back and find out. I'll be right back. <laughs> the train of thought that I was trying to explain doesn't really make any sense because of course he would go torn on a potential earthquake. But this thing has Shirka Berry, as you can see. So he lived the attack if Flamethrower killed me, which of course it did. That's why I was thinking of close combat on this thing instead, but then we went with earthquake because it hit the Erotum, of course. Probably should have went close combat over double edge because I don't think that his team was very weak to bird so it's fine though go out to muck this thing can take any special hit that this other thing wants to dish out as you can see there we brick break here because that's what we brought it for and that's a dead heatran goes out to this thing I just go to my delmise because of course we can take earthquakes after earthquakes with this thing I thought he was going to switch out here so that's why I went ahead and poltergeisted but he didn't switch out. He instead toxic to me, which is a fair play. I synthesize up because I want to get that HP back, but Earthquake plus Toxic is really just going to wear me down. I don't know when I power whip. It's right there. Went ahead and get r got rid of the Don fan. I believed he was in range and I was right, so that's three against three, but his team is looking a lot better than mine as he's got two mons that are just full. Well, I don't. And now I just have the two. 
so that's fine. Go to my Sylveon here, he roosts, and I Hyper Voice, so if he decided to hit me instead, that would have been a dead Altaria, that would have been cool, but it wasn't, so that's, that's it, that is how it is. Hyper Voice ends up taking this thing out, so we do have two on two again, but here comes Dragapult coming in to sweep at the end. As you can see here, we got the protect going on because I didn't know what he wanted to do. Steel wing made sense, of course, because of my fairy type. And then kills the Sylveon, gets the defense boost too. So any type of chance that my muck had of killing it with Shadow Sneak is just gone there. So I just went ahead and pressed knock off just in case he wanted to switch or whatever. But yeah, that was GG. So good, good game to Leaf and the Quebec Quillfish. Definitely brought some nice moves with that Icy Wind here, and then that was a nice catch on my Starmie with the Heatran. I don't know what else to say about my team, besides I should have probably seen some things a little bit better, but the next week after that is against another Chicago team, even though I'm not really based in Chicago, but the Chicago Flash Fire, coached by Ravens, is our next opponent. So hopefully we'll have better luck there. We are now 0-3, which sucks ass, but I've done worse. I can attest to that. I've done worse. This channel can attest to that as well. But hopefully we can pull it out there. There's a couple of different lines of thought that I am that I have when it comes to fighting that team, but we can get into that the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want some more of that Snowy Kurama goodness. Only if you want to, of course. No one's forcing you to do anything around here. You're your own person, and I respect that. <laughs> Tickle that bell so you know when it is I'm uploading, of course, only if you would like. And with all that being said and more, this has been your boy, Snowy Kurama. See you in the next video. Goodbye.